what made you decide to do a concert tour like this? Of this you know, nature? I've worked with orchestras on one-offs. I've done the Oscars with an orchestra or right. the Grammys with an orchestra. But about a year ago, I was asked by the Chicago Symphony, one of the greatest bands in the world, would I put together a, a, a program of my music f with them for a benefit? I said, sure, I'm, I like a challenge. I had no idea how to do it. Uh, enlisted the help of some arrangers and said, look, let's put an hour and a half of my music together. And they said, look, you know, your music actually, is, it, it, it fits with a, a symphony orchestra because there's lots of harmonic movement, there's lots of colors we can use. So I said, well, what I really want to do is engage the musicians themselves. I don't want them standing behind me singing a ballad, just playing long notes. It's right. boring. It's, it's boring for them. It's boring for me. It's boring for the audience. I said, let's challenge them. Let's write arrangements that have steam coming out of their ears where they're really <laughs> having to play as if they're playing Stravinsky's Rites of Spring. Strings like, are breaking. <laughs> that's what I want. I love and it. that was their brief and they certainly gave it to me and, and the, 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 the two orchestras we worked with originally said, wow, that's so much fun because we're actually being used for the musicians that we are. Yeah, so when that worked with, with the orchestra and myself and the audience, I thought, well, why not take this on the road? Wow. I mean, it's a crazy idea. You take 50 musicians on the road. I understand that you're full of crazy ideas. Though, I'm full of crazy ideas. <laughs> totally full of crazy ideas. And um, the Royal Philharmonic, again, one of the, the greatest bands, uh, said, yes, we'd love to do that. We'd love to join you in your folly. It's called a folly now. <laughs> it's I a love total it. folly. Uh, but we're five shows in, and people are loving it. And That's what I, well, for those who don't know, I hope not many don't. Why did you decide to call the tour Symphonicity? Well, it's a bit of a joke, really, because uh, you know I was associated with a very famous record called Synchronicity, which was the last Police album, which I named. And that, that was uh, af after a book by Carl Jung. I'm a fan of Carl Jung's. Synchronicity is about uh, meaningful coincidence. So when we were working with a, symph a symphony orchestra, somebody said, why don't you call it Symphonicity? You know, it's funny. It's a, it's a little joke. But I like uh, it, though. I like it, too.